This is the first video in a series on transformers, and specifically multi-headed attention. And I thought I'd start off by answering a question that I haven't seen answered anywhere else on YouTube, which is, what's so special about multi-head attention? Why is it showing up everywhere in all sorts of architectures? I mean, why is this layer that started out in a machine translation paper now being used in all the big image generation networks? In this video, I'm going to tell you what's so great about the attention layer, which will hopefully get you excited enough to sit through all the implementation details later in the series. To start off with, let's go all the way back to the most basic layer, the linear layer, which is not as different from the attention layer as you might think. The linear layer's main strength is that each output depends on the value of each input. However, this isn't reasonable to do for large amounts of data. The linear layer simply requires too much computation and way too many parameters. It would take way too much time and data to train linear layers with large inputs and outputs. This is really disappointing because there are a ton of cases where we'd like each output to be dependent on each input, but we just can't afford a linear layer. One example of these use cases is machine translation. In order for language models to understand a particular word in the input, they often need to look at the context around it. They might even need to look far back in time in the case of something like a term being defined. And we don't necessarily know where in the context we need to look. So it would be great if every output could just depend on every input. But the data size in a real world large language model is way too big for the linear layer to handle. Enter the multi-head attention layer. The multi-head attention layer has the same property that every output depends on the value of every input, but it does so with dramatically less computation and weights than the linear layer. This is its real superpower. For real world use cases like ChatGPT, the multi-head attention layer is roughly a thousand times less computation than the linear layer would be and uses four million times less parameters. I want you to just take a moment and appreciate how big of a deal this is. We finally got a layer that acts like a linear layer, but scales to large data. In the past, you might have done some complicated architecture involving multiple layers, including convolutional layers and maybe some custom aggregation function, or perhaps you would have suffered through the complexities of recurrent layers, but now you can just throw in an attention layer. This is so incredibly exciting that I can't stress it enough. I'm guessing that if the authors of the original paper had realized the magnitude and application of this, that's what the paper would have been on. The obvious follow-up question to this dramatic revelation is, how does the multi-head attention layer manage to be so efficient? But for that answer, you'll have to watch the rest of the series. And if you don't care how, you just want to start using the layer, I'll also illuminate why the popular APIs and machine learning libraries look so different from what you might expect based on what I just described. If you're interested in that, then please subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>